Okay, hey there you guys, it's Johnny, and I'm revisiting Robocraft now with yet another build for you guys. Um, the last one I did of the Milano, I really liked some of your guys' feedback on it. I know there were some issues with how it looked, and some people didn't enjoy the fact that I was, you know, trying to take a piece of media and put it into a game that didn't really support that style of a ship. So. What I'm doing here in this build is I'm actually going back over and after they added the new propellers and, or not propellers, like the helicopter rotors, I wanted to come in and make one of my favorite kinds of helicopters. Um, I've always been a fan of the Chinook helicopter, so I wanted to give it a bit of a try and see what comes out of it. I've sped up the video just to save time, but you guys can see my whole sort of, sort of process this time. I started recording pretty much right from the start. I just went through some of the other smaller stuff with the uh, with like the wind screen and stuff. You see me there, I'm just sort of playing with propeller positioning there, but um, yeah, I'm just going to let the video play through. I got some music to throw on with the video. Otherwise guys, I hope you guys like what comes out, and I'll tune back in here and pitch in my thoughts when I get closer towards the end of the build, alright? Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'm going to say it now, and I'll say it again at the end of the video. I hope if you do enjoy it, just drop a like down below, and hopefully I'll be able to put out more. I know it's been a while since I have put out a video, so that's just issues with life and work schedule and stuff. Otherwise, guys, I hope you really do enjoy it, and just I ask that you watch it all the way through the end and save your preemptive comments for the end of the video. Alright? Bye.
Okay, you guys, we're coming up to my first test flight here. I was just playing around with a little bit of a landing gear design. I'm just gonna not worry too much about that. It was just me playing around a little bit. But, um, one thing you'll notice, like, when I get into the test flight here is, like, you'll notice my actual rotor position on the helicopter. And if you take a look at a real Chinook helicopter, the rear rotor is actually higher and a little bit overlapping the, uh, the forward rotor. And I didn't really like this look of that when I was building through this in some earlier renditions before I started recording. And so I decided to cut it out and just leave it level and more to the rear. So obviously the rear end of the helicopter sticks out more than it should. I'm aware of the inaccuracy in that, but that allowed me a little bit more playroom and where I could fit guns, which you'll see in a little bit, you'll see in a, a little bit here. Otherwise, guys, I'm just going to let you keep watching and let you determine your own judgment over how you think this looks. Alright? Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll kick back in at the end of the video.
Okay, you guys, we're starting to near the end of the video here, and like I said, I would kick back in and talk a little bit about, like, how I decided to go with arming this helicopter. Um, I went with tier 10 guns just because that's what I had on hand. I sold all my lower tier stuff so that I'd be able to afford to move it, start to move into tier 10. Um, I don't mind how it works. I would, if you're going to try and build something like this, I would recommend either playing a healer class or using, or being a bomber instead of trying to use this style of helicopter with SMGs. It just, due to the inaccuracy of them, ever since they nerfed them a while back, it's just, it's not the most, it's not the best setup. Maybe if you were to add more onto it, then you would have like the higher rate of fire and just, instead of having a ton of spread, you'd be taking that spread and turning it into a one large area of effect. Otherwise, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe if you did. We're coming up right on the end here in just a minute. So I'm going to cut out here and let you guys just... I'm going to do one over the helicopter and just you guys will get an idea of what I did with it. Um, yeah, so... Otherwise, I don't really have too much else to say about it. It's a pretty simple design. You know, I spent a little while working on it to try and make it look as real as possible. Obviously, again, I had to take some liberties. But otherwise, it was a fun build. Not the most effective armor for a tier 9 robot, but I just used what I had on hand left over from the lower tier just for the sake of building it quick and easy because I have over a thousand of these tier 3 blocks. I'm just throwing in some windows now here. Otherwise, guys, enjoy.